This is a short video that's going to show you how you can quickly and efficiently clean data sets if they have rows with completely missing data in it or columns with completely missing data in it. This can just be a bit of a pain for you and it can, can cause problems in analysis down the line. So you could, of course, manually go through your spreadsheet and delete everything, but that may be a bit of a pain, particularly with a very large data set. This could take you some time. So what we can do, we can use the janitor package here to quickly and efficiently remove any rows or columns which are completely missing data. So to do so, I've got this data frame here and I've used the janitor remove empty command here. What this is going to do is remove any row or column with missing data. So if you do run this, you will get a little warning and the warning says this value for which was not specified so defaulting to rows and columns. So because I haven't said whether I want to get rid of rows of missing data or columns of missing data, it's going to get rid of them both. So if I run that now, there we go. You can see it's got rid of the row of missing data and it's got rid of the column with missing data. So that's the original one. We can see we've got rid of that. We got rid of row three and we got rid of column X2. So nice and easy. Now, as I say, maybe it's just you want to get rid of the rows. Maybe you don't want to get rid of that column, which is straightforward. What we just say is then after the remove empty, we specify the data frame and then we just say which equals rows. So this version of it gets got rid of the rows. We got rid of the rows of missing data, but we still got our column of missing data. And likewise, we could do this. With columns instead of rows, we write calls though, not columns. We do that. And if you look at that data frame now, you can see we've got the row missing data, but we've dropped the column instead. So this is a really quick and easy way just to clean up data 